Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video I will show you how to make your own grass in GIMP and then import it into Unity. This might seem like it's hard but it's actually really simple, you'll see. So of course first you want to open up GIMP. And if you don't have GIMP there is a link in the description you can go download it. Once you open up GIMP you want to go File, New or you can just press Ctrl N and then you want to create a file 1024 by 1024. Fill the file with transparency and press OK. Now if we just try to draw a piece of grass here, you'll see that this doesn't look like grass at all. So what we'll do, we'll create our own brush for grass. Select your brush up here or just press P on your keyboard. Click on this icon and then click on open the dynamic selection dialog. Once you're here, click on this new brush. This will pop up. Now what we want to do here is we want to make the brush change size depending on how long we hold it. Do that by going size and checking fade. We're just going to rename it to grass brush. Now we can go down to dynamics again and select grass brush. I'm going to change the size of my brush to 40. And now if we draw, you can see that this looks more like grass now. What we want to do now is just paint our texture. So just draw and every time you feel like the grass isn't good, just press Ctrl Z and it's going to undo it. So here's my texture, it might be a bit too small, but it will work. What we want to do now is we want to remove this weird effect on the grass pieces. And we can do that by going up here, select by color, or you can just press shift plus O, and then click on your grass. Now go to your gradient tool and select two colors that you want. I'm gonna select a dark green and the light green. So here are my colors, these two. And now we're going to take the gradient tool and just draw onto the texture. So you can just click and drag and then it's going to apply it. You want the dark color to be on the bottom. If the dark color is not on the bottom, just press this and it's going to change between the dark and the light color. Now press Ctrl Shift A to deselect and create a new layer and then we're going to take the dark color, take the bucket fill tool and just fill the whole thing in. Now you can disable this for now. What we want to do now is just export our grass texture. Export it as a PNG file and then we're going to enable our color again and we're going to export that also as a texture. Now we're actually all done in GIMP, so move on to Unity. So go to where you stored your uh, two textures and just drag them into Unity. What I have here is just a simple scene with the terrain that is 10 by 10 and the main camera with the camera rotator, camera movement and some post-processing behavior. So what we want to do now, select the terrain go to this brush tab here. This is where you paint your textures. So add a texture and drag in your grass texture here. If you did that right, it's gonna fill your terrain with the texture. If it doesn't, just go ahead and uh, brush it on there. Next thing, we go to this flower tab and we're gonna add grass texture. Now drag in your second grass texture, place it in the detail texture and just simply add. If you try placing it now, you can see that this doesn't look very good and there is a lot of grass here. So we can fix that by going to our grass texture and then checking alpha is transparency and apply it. Now go back to your terrain and go back to the flower tab and click refresh. Now this is gonna look much better and it's not gonna have that black outline Another thing that we can do is we can make our grass smaller. 
So go to Edit Details, Edit with your grass selected here. We can also play around with the color. You can set everything to a white, but I don't I don't like doing that. This looks good. And now you can see that there's a lot of grass here and it doesn't it still doesn't look very good. So you can lower down your opacity and target strength here and take your brush, hold shift and go over the grass. So that is going to make it look better and it's going to remove some of the extra grass that we don't need. You can just go over it a couple times. Now it looks much better. Also, if your grass doesn't look like this, that's because I am using some post processing effects with some ambient occlusion and some depth of field. If we click play now, you can see that it's very laggy, but of course you're not going to be using this much grass anywhere in your game. I mean, hopefully. I actually want to try to make it a bit smaller. Yeah, this definitely looks a bit better. So this is how you make your own grass in GIMP and then import it into Unity. Hopefully it helps you guys, but if you have any solution for the optimization part of this grass, be sure to comment down below. And comment down below if you want to make uh if you if you want me to make any kind of special tutorial or something. And I'll try to make it, but uh, subscribe, leave a like, comment down below and go follow me on Twitter. There's a link in the description to everything. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.